You're here to solve this cross the streams puzzle by David Altizio called Any Questions. We'll notice there are no question mark clues in this grid, which is pretty unusual. And the other thing that this variant is using is plus signs for any number two or larger. And uh, that plus sign limitation is making me think about this bottom row first for some reason. That's, I think, because I've got to get, you know, sort of groups of at least size two or three down here. And if I think about those, they're going to be pretty incompatible with these spots that have to have big groups at the very bottom of these rows. So let's sort of look at what would happen. Like if I took a cell like this, I've got to go left or right down here because of the plus clue. And then the column clues force both of these to come up. That's a two by two square. This is a two by two square. So this cell right here from where this plus clue interacts with these is, is a no-go. I can then only fit one large group to the left. So I've got to take two large groups over here. So two groups of size two. This uh, clue at the uh, for this column suggests I've got to come up immediately, where in the ninth column this one suggests I have to actually come up the rightmost side for this to work. But I've now taken the single cell, I've taken the single cell, get all the way to here. Flipping then to the column clues, I still need to get two singletons here, so this looks important to look at. And across these rows, the only one that looks somewhat interesting is this one. That's because if I take the cell, it would be a single to the left and to the top and bottom, and that would get isolated. So this is not able to be where a singleton sits, so I have to take this and this to make two singles exist in this grid. These then come over to the left, and where I still don't have any interactions in these rows, I can now go to this ninth column and see I need to get two large groups at the top. I can put a two-cell group in here, and then with a gap, if I connect these, I get a three-cell group, and this is absolutely forced to make this work out. So these columns are both now complete. I've put in a cell that's going to have to grow larger based off this clue, so this clue is now okay. And if I come from the top, the top group here in the eighth column has to have at least uh, two or more cells, so it can't be this singleton, can't be this, this singleton for connectivity, and must take this and must extend down. That is now a plus that's here. We need to get a singleton in the bottom of this column. It's not going to be this cell, but it could be this coming across one, this coming across one. So I'll keep in mind we've got to take two together for this to work out. Um, looking back at this clue, this can be marked off as that single one. And what's kind of next to look at, this clue doesn't look like it offers a lot, but let's actually think about where this plus goes. So the one can be here, 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 or I guess even here, but the plus will then have to be in the bottom in these spaces. And so what does that do for me? I think it's actually a very subtle deduction, but it has to do with then the sixth column. Notice there is nothing else in this column but this group. And so if there is a two cell or larger group as far up as this, this can extend up into that group, but it can't go through the group. So it will always have a break point. And so this can't extend above this part in the column, uh, whether there's a two here or here or here or even a larger group here. It's going to be blocked by where that plus group is. And so these cells all being marked off in green looks like a key deduction right now based off this six column and how it interacts over here. Connectivity forces us to come through this space. So this is the plus group. And so a a, the one has to be right above like so. Um, that doesn't give us too much in the bottom, but it now has marked off all of the space in the top. So if I come across here, I need two plus groups. That's got to be just in the space I have available for them. Now switching to the column view, uh, this is the one clue fully in the grid. Connectivity forces me to come down to here. This is a plus group coming from the left side, so it must be at least too large, but it also has to be connected to whatever is coming down from the top here. So it has to be actually at least three large, it looks like. Um, so it's now in the grid, uh, plus group down below can't start here or here, but it's going to be two or three long in this space. Um, this cell marked in is going to be part of one of these singles, whether there's a single here or not, this is going to be a single. So this comes across, this is four, this is two, these are now complete. Connectivity forces taking this one. We're going to have to extend down to the bottom, but notice I don't have a one or a plus in the grid at all yet and I just have a big group up top. So this is a one, this is a plus, these are spaces. This is gonna be needed for connectivity. Let's think about how this plus group at the bottom goes. If it doesn't join to this cell, 
then you could have a plus here, but it's isolating the lower left part of the grid. And if there's nothing down here, we've isolated the lower left part of the grid. So it looks like I can say this cell must be taken and as part of this plus. And that cell being taken looks like it gives us some more intel into this row coming across. I need two singles. I can put a single here, here. I can put a single here, here. But again, remember, this has to come straight across. So this actually can't be a single. This can be a single. That marks this end. That leaves behind the space coming across for these two together. We still now have to have this plus clue work out, so it actually can't extend to the cell anymore, so it has to come through here. And now if this is a plus coming across, it can't join to the cell, so it does join here. So this looks like the lower right's now done. All these clues are in the grid. I have to get a one and a one in the space, so those are now here. Connectivity force is taking the cell, so here's where the other single goes. I still need one and one to work out here, and so this can't be the second one, so I've got to take the cell for this to work. That cancels here. This row needs a one. It's got to take here. So all the vertical clues are now used. We're now looking horizontally. Uh, this has to be two or more. This row needs a two or more. Connectivity forces us here, and connectivity takes the remaining cells, and all the clues are now spent. So really awesome puzzle by David. Uh, great start by using the large cells and these bottom clues here. Uh, clean work up up the right columns. And then this really subtle deduction looking across these columns, particularly how these two plus clues interact to block off all the top of this grid. That's the key aha that really breaks through this Friday puzzle and gets you a start on the left side so you can work down and, and get to the finish. So thanks for watching this video. We'll see you again soon.